What's up guys, I'm Landon from Shoewear and today we're putting the newest models from LeBron James and Kevin Durant shoe lines with Nike head to head to see how they compare. But you know, really quick, if this is your first time checking us out, feel free to drop a follow or subscribe wherever you're watching and give this video a like. We would greatly appreciate that. So taking a quick look at the box and the price, the LeBron 19s have a lot of details going into this black box. And I did think it was a pretty nice touch how they made that LJ logo on top. It's a see-through design. So the KD14s are gonna come in a pretty simple black box with this player logo on top. But you know, as for pricing, we do have a decent gap here with the LeBrons being the most expensive uh, signature shoe line on the market right now at $200 even, while the KD14s are more middle of the pack at $150 for retail. So checking out the appearance for these shoes and starting off with the colorways, today we have the Nike LeBron 19 sweatsuit versus the KD14 Lime Glow. So this LeBron 19 sweatsuit colorway is actually the first one to hit the market. So it's part of like a Space Jam collab theme. So if you pull back the uh, overlays on that, the markings on this upper, or it's actually a map of like the Nike World Headquarters and the Warner Brothers lot. So, you know, as always, the details that go into these shoes are just super nice, but sticking with the LeBron 19 and just checking out the overall design they did build this shoe up a little bit higher just compared to the lebron 18 model it does remind me of like the same general structure that a bunch of his shoes like from his line have kind of followed in the past and then you do have access to kind of see those zoom air units in the bottom of the shoe at work so i did like that added touch and then there's also a little air bubble kind of up around the uh, heel that runs along the back of the shoe and you know that's a cool look it's kind of fun to mess around with you can kind of squeeze it and feel the air that's inside that little pocket but then switching it over to the KDs, I think that Nike did a better job or, you know, at least put a little more effort into this year's model compared to the KD13 last year. So you are going to have that strap on there, which, you know, I do like that on basketball shoes. So you get that added element with this KD14. And then the wavy pattern on the upper is pretty clean, especially in the back of the shoe around the heel where you get more of that thick wavy design. And then, you know, even for the look on these for the side of the midsole, I think that little air bubble on the side looks, you know, pretty clean. So as far as like looks and like the appearance for the KD14, I think it is a clear upgrade from last year's model. So now zeroing in more on the performance side, I'll start off with the cushioning first. So the LeBron 19 is going to have a Cushlon foam midsole, which is meant to be softer and more responsive than Phylon. And these do have that soft and springy feel whenever you play in them. So you're also gonna have a Zoom Air unit kind of positioned in the forefoot or just like that front half of the shoe that's also paired with some thick Max Air units that you can actually see through the side of the shoe like I did mention. So you can really see or like you really feel those Air units at work whenever you compress the shoe and apply that pressure. I mean, the impact protection on the LeBron 19 is just really nice whenever you're landing from jumps as well as like, you know, making any types of cuts or movements. And then for the KD14, these are going to feature a full length air zoom strobe unit that is stitched directly into the upper, which keeps the shoe, the shoe soft yet responsive. And, you know, these have a Cushlon foam midsole in the midsole as well, just like the LeBron. So, you know, definitely a very soft shoe to play in. Cushioning is honestly one of the highlights for both of these shoes. So for the materials, the LeBron 19 made a big shift from that knit positive design that they used last year, and they've really added some nice pieces to this shoe. So these have a full inner sleeve that's going to conform to your foot really well. And then the laces actually kind of feed through that and like uh, feed through that outer piece or that overlay design. And it really just kind of locks your foot into the shoe. So it gives you that like uh, shoe within a shoe type feel. And then Nike also added that uh, transparent flywire cable to the top of this overlay. It kind of extends up from the midsole. So, you know, I did like that touch. And then looking at the KD14, these do have a uh, strap on them from this year. The KD13s obviously did not have that, so I do like this added piece. And then they are gonna have a multi-layer mesh upper with some added thickness in certain areas just to kind of help keep your foot in place. So, you know, it really does give you a controlled feel whenever you're playing in this shoe. And, you know, honestly, the support checks out for both of these models. You have that inner sleeve on the LeBron 19s, also that like fly wire cable that I just talked about, but you're also gonna get a small outrigger if you look at these from the bottom, that's gonna help brace your foot and just add to the balance. And then the material used on the KD14, I mean, it's gonna give you solid lateral containment too you got the strap there for some added reinforcement but it's really not all that beneficial but it's still not going to hurt so i mean the support and the material is honestly pretty solid for both of these shoes 
So to finish off with traction, LeBron's shoe line has kind of struggled for the last several years in this category, maybe getting slightly better from year to year. And, you know, I guess that's pretty much what happened again here. So the LeBron 19s have a new pattern that is actually meant to resemble that LJ crown logo kind of condensed down and, you know, it plays okay, but it doesn't give you that super sticky feel better than the LeBron 18s, but you know, not by a wide margin. And then for the KD 14s, Nike kept the same like general concept from last year's like uh, traction pattern with those herbal patterns on the bottom. And that's gonna handle more of your side to side or like your lateral coverage. And then the rest of that design kind of manages the front to back movements. And you know, this is one of the better shoes that I've played in all year. I mean, they do a really great job of, grip of gripping the floor. And I haven't had any like slipping issues with these so far. So to finish off with sizing though, both of these shoes are gonna run true to size for their length, but they have a pretty narrow fit. So if you like extra room to play in for your foot to breathe, you may wanna consider just going half size up. So for the final ratings, LeBron's built off of an already solid design. I have liked the look of his past few models. And then the KD14s, they do look a lot better than the KD13. So, you know, overall, just both shoes have a pretty clean look. So I'm just going to leave that as a tie. And then for cushion, this has been a focal point for both shoe lines over the past few years and it did stay that way. So you do get that same Kushlon midsole for both of these designs. And then, you know, just two really soft shoes to play in. So I'm going to leave those as a tie as well. But moving on to the materials and the support, both added some nice pieces that weren't there last year, you know, like the strap on the KD14s and a few elements on that LeBron 19. But, you know, something I didn't expect for the LeBron was to make such a solid jump whenever it comes to support. So, you know, they made some nice additions from that flywire cable to that inner sleeve. And, you know, they even made the shoe a little bit higher to lock your foot in if you lace them all the way up to the top because that did fix like my slipping problem that I had with the heel in the, in the uh, LeBron 18. So, you know, while the KD 14 is definitely a good option for support, you know, you have a few layers to lock your foot in on that upper. I'm actually going to barely lean toward the LeBrons with the improvements, with just all the improvements that they made from last year's model. But as for traction, that's going to be an easy side with the KD 14s. The LeBron shoe line still has a lot to figure out in that aspect, but you know, Durant's have been playing super nice for the past few years. I mean, they have really good bite and just good grip on the floor. So for my final choice, this is a really close battle, but I'm going to give a slight edge to the KD14 for this competition. I mean, both shoes are extremely comfortable. The support is solid, but whenever it comes to a basketball shoe, traction is high on my priority list. And you know, LeBron 19s just don't quite offer enough to keep pace with the KD14 model, which really doesn't have a weakness at all. So it is worth pointing out too that the LeBron 19 is a little bit heavy too, which you know can slow you down. But just in case you do want more of an in-depth review on each one of these shoes, we do have individual reviews live where I go a little deeper into each of these models. So you know, feel free to check that out. And then if you're interested in purchasing one or both of these shoes, just check out the links in the description below. And also feel free to leave a comment below if you like this video, or just let us know any other shoes you may want to check out. But until next review, I'm Landon from Shoewear. Peace.